it's here. Wait, it's here. It's here. Oh, it's right here. there. <laughs> Shit. Let's do this right now. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go, dude. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. <gasps> here it is. Here it is. Oh, my God. No way. It's time. Go. It's go time. Okay. Two. One. Oh, 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 my oh, my God. God. This movie is about to be everything we've ever wanted. Ah, Sunday I had my notes ready for the past 48 hours. I've been putting up recording this video. So you might as well get this video out of the way. Yo, what's going on guys? You're right host your Connor X Crash. And last week we finally had the Sonic Movie 3 trailer drop. We've been waiting for it for so long and it's finally here. I did a live stream to it. A bunch of other content creators did a live stream for it. Because this, this is the moment we've been waiting for. And we finally have gotten peak on our doorstep. And also for those who commented saying that I overreacted to the trailer. Flashback. Oh my god. <laughs> No way! Oh my god! This movie is real! This movie is real, dude! I don't know what to tell you, man. I, that's just my personality. But also, this trailer literally means everything to me. Like, this trailer had every single bit of what I've been wanting from the Sonic series for so long. And that applies to, to everything else we're getting this year on Lost Side Shadow Generations. All of you guys, all the good stuff. So, we'll get into why this trailer means so much to me in a little bit. And along with some extra details from the trailer, we're talking about some possible plot points that may occur during the film, and why this is the next most important thing to come out of the Sonic series. So, if you enjoyed having a little supper on this video, make sure you leave a like down below and comment on what you are most excited for for Sonic Movie 3. And if you want to see even more Sonic and Nintendo content, make sure you subscribe with notifications as well so you don't miss out on a single video or stream that comes out. Real quick, I just want to thank everyone who watched my Sonic Movie 3 reaction video. That is like my best performing video. Ever. I did not expect that video to blow up in any way, any way shape or form so the fact that y'all even clicked on the video I y'all mean so much to me like the support means the support is crazy So you guys are amazing. I love you all so much. You guys are amazing with that being said. Let's spin dash Pun intended right into the trailer for Sonic movie 3. Let's do it y'all So let's get straight to the point here. Is Amy Rose in the movie? Do I think so? No. Y'all, y'all, y'all keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. Wait till movie four. <laughs> no, but however, insider mate, insider information does say otherwise. So first, let's consider why I believe Amy Rose isn't in the movie and how she doesn't really fit in. Look, I get it. We all want Amy or Rouge to be in the film, and I do too. But with us already having the main conflict of Shadow on a rampage and Sonic and Eggman teaming up, you don't want to have too many plot lines that will overwhelm the audience, regardless of whether they are diehard Sonic fans or not. Oh, well, you know, there was a bunch of converging plot points in Sonic Movie 2 with Rachel and her wedding. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But hear me out on this one, hear me out. I don't think Amy would work as effectively as Amy would work in the next film or um, in a possible spinoff to come out, like, way ahead in the future. Yes, Amy can be considered a critical role when it comes to Sonic Adventure 2, but this isn't SA2. Keep in mind, this is an adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2 with its own spin on it. So, yes, Amy Rose would definitely fit, but she would only fit into a couple scenes that we're gonna get into, one or two scenes that we're about to get into in just a moment here. However, some hints from writers Pat Casey and Josh Miller say that it won't be too much longer before a certain pink hedgehog, quote unquote, makes an appearance. When that will be is still unknown, but it may most likely be in Sonic Movie 4 or in the post credits of Sonic Movie 3. The post credits scene could also be the reveal of Silver or Metal Sonic during the cast. As for Amy, if she ends up being in the film and this is just another No Way Home scenario, then don't expect her to play too big of a role except for a moment like this one. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. I would also like to point out that this moment right here is where the internet has been speculating about a missing character here that has been edited out for the trailer. 
So while this could be her standing right here, don't get your hopes up, all right? Let, 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 let's let's just let's just cut it off right there. Let's cut the fuel lines right there, right? It could also be just a director's choice, and we're just overthinking it with the camera angles and everything that's in the trailer. So I'm just saying, sorry, Amy fans, don't mean to disappoint you or like to bust, burst your bubbles. I love Amy too, but we might be waiting until the post credits this year. For now, I want to dive into the juicy plot points that'll make this the Sonic movie to end all Sonic movies. First things first, Shadow. I haven't commented about Keanu Reeves playing a Shadow. But man, I still think Hugh Jackman would be a perfect fit. Keanu Reeves fits the role of Shadow perfectly. I honestly didn't think it was something that I needed until I actually heard him say, You're a colorful bunch. His soothing, calm voice fits Shadow's tone and manages to make him sound menacing at the same time. Heck, Keanu turned down being in Star Wars or Marvel to play Shadow. So if anything, Keanu wanted to play this role and made sure to do his homework. Which, good on him, by the way. He always does that for all his roles. Let's talk about Shadow's character, including the first potential plot point for the film. As we've seen in the trailer, Shadow's story begins just like it did in the games. Maria! Maria! Pretty self-explanatory. Although, it does concern me when I see this one shot from the film. Yes, Maria is getting cooked. We won. W! Yo! She's getting cooked, y'all! She's getting cooked, y'all! She's getting cooked! She's getting cooked! Although, I'm starting to believe that we may not see the moment happen directly on screen now. At this point, as much as I hate to admit it, that's okay. As far as I know, you can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about this and they update information about this. But there is still no confirmed rating for this film. There's no PG, no PG-13, definitely not going to be rated R. But it has, it has it's been confirmed in the UK what the rating is everywhere else except for the United States. So yeah, keep in mind, I do live in the Americas, so... We still don't have a confirmed rating over here, but let me know what the rating is for your country in Sonic Movie 3 if you guys have a confirmed rating yet. For now, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But going back to Shadow, his lines from the trailer give some give me some theories as to what his goals are in the movie. When we're done, there won't be anything left. There will be nothing left? I believe Shadow is on a mission to destroy the human race. Shocking, I know. Who could have predicted that? Oh, dope de doo And he goes to insane lengths to accomplish this. This takes us to our next plot point regarding the Wachowskis. Looking through the second half of the trailer, we see that Sonic is not holding back in terms of the lengths he will go to stop Shadow. Sonic witnessed something that is causing him to take a different approach. Why that might be? This man right here. Hey, yo, Tom, what's up, bro? How's it good? <laughs> you ready to get cooked in the movie? No? Tom is in a gun uniform, and it hasn't been confirmed whether he is working for gun or not. It is stated, though, that in one of the deleted scenes for Sonic Movie 1, that Tom's family has been around for more than 50 years. So maybe just maybe hear me out on this one call me crazy all right this is this is a this is a this is a bit of a leap but just maybe someone in his family was involved with the attack on the ark and worked for a gun big stretch i know that's a big leap i know there are two possible theories for this situation one being that it's just a setup and tom gets down for the count the other is him being or have been recruited to work for gun i'm leaning more towards the setup theory as it makes more sense but it would be crazy to see tom or someone down his family line to be related to Gun in some way. Now, connecting the two characters together, Shadow did something to Tom. We don't know for sure if he got cut or if he's been captured aboard the Ark. We, we don't know. I'll say this though, if Tom dies in the movie, Actually, I don't even know if I can handle that, bro. So I can cry in theater, Jeff! I would like to mention also that I won't be going over everything in the trailer again in this video because I already did a pretty lengthy analysis during my reaction video. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. I'd go over some great thoughts with my friend Hala. So make sure you check out that video when you get the chance if you haven't watched it yet. Let's move on to another subject that took everyone by surprise. Welcome home, my boy. It's impossible. Is it? It couldn't be. Couldn't it? I am. Are you? In the saggy flesh. Jailed Robotnik is alive. There's one thing that can explain that. Pat Casey and Josh Miller didn't take the execution approach that Sonic Adventure 2 did. However, it could still be on the table for later in the film. Jailed has been in hiding, and it looks to be in one of his old laboratories. On screen right now, I'm showing some scenes from the trailer that may be connected to the same location. These locations relate to Sonic and Eggman exploring an abandoned laboratory at a yet-to-be-revealed location in the film. This is most likely where the lore gets dropped, or at least a substantial amount. And 
Gerald is also played by Jim Carrey, which is amazing. Seeing Jim Carrey act as two characters at the same time on screen is going to be both awesome and hilarious. Gee, I wonder if Jim Carrey is truly the eighth wonder of the world. So if Gerald is alive, how did he escape? Well, the first thing I thought of was that Gunn let him go, but they're not letting him off that easily if they're still following the same backstory that the games do. If you recall, the government felt uneasy about Project Shadow and Gerald's experiments on the Ark, and because of this, Gerald was taken in by the government and forced to continue his experiments under extreme supervision, while Shadow was subdued and locked away by the government until Eggman found him 50 years later. Here, it doesn't look like Gerald was captured at all. I don't want to keep pushing the theory juices any further because I feel like we need to wait for another trailer to at least get an idea of what's happening with Gerald. Or we might just have to wait till the movie comes out. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts about Gerald in the comments below. Again, this is a discussion video. But for now, let's talk about the connection between Sonic and Shadow. Shadow breaks out and causes a rampage due to the events that occurred over 50 years ago. You can tell through the trailer that Shadow goes to extreme lengths to pursue his mission, and the same goes for Sonic through the second half of the trailer. Also, notice how Sonic's usual attitude changes from being happy-go-lucky to him all of a sudden wanting to team up with Eggman for seems like out of desperation. Even Tails goes on to say that this isn't the way to deal with the situation. This is a bad idea. When has that ever stopped me? Sonic has been affected by something or someone that just straight up got cooked, taken out, or whatever the heck happened to that thing or someone, and that someone is most likely Tom. This film is going to connect both Sonic and Shadow's characters by having Sonic lose something that he gained coming to Earth to feel the pain and loss that Shadow has gone through on the arc. You following so far? What I'm saying is that this movie's theme is all about family. Just look at these moments that happen throughout the trailer. The Sonic movie trilogy has had a theme for each film. The first film had a theme of finding a home. The second film had the theme of finding a family. And the, now the third film is tying it all together just for it to fall apart in front of Sonic. The things that he's desperately been wanting for most of his life in terms of the cinematic universe are about to be taken away from him by none other than Shadow the Hedgehog. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if Sonic went back to his homeworld by the end of the movie. I mean, that's another one of my predictions for the third film. So far, that's all I really have right now to discuss about Sonic Mario 3, because again, we already went through a pretty lengthy bit of it in my reaction video for that analysis, so make sure you go back and look at that for a bit. I might make another follow-up video pretty soon about this, so make sure you guys have notifications on, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Movie 3 videos that I make in the future. But overall, this movie is looking to be everything that I've wanted from the Sonic series, and it's all been leading up to this point for the past couple of years. Ever since the Sonic movie redesign, it was all uphill from there. Let's not even imagine the timeline that we would be in if Ugly Sonic still existed, okay? Let's not even go there. Ever since that redesign, we have been working our way up to the point we are at now. We've had the Sonic Symphony, which is still going by the way, you should definitely go get tickets if you haven't won yet, you should definitely go get tickets. We've had Sonic Origins, we've had Sonic Movie 2, we've had Sonic Frontiers, the first major stepping stone that was needed in the games. We've had Sonic Superstars, we've had the Sonic Lego sets, and we've had Final Horizon, but we've also had some ups and downs along the way, such as Sonic Cars Ultimate, and you could consider Sonic Gorgeous and Superstars as misfires if you want to. This, But this year, however, we've been winning non-stop. Like, this is the prime year for both Sonic and mainly Shadow. Like, Sonic X Shadow Generations, Shadow Generations Dark Beginnings, Sonic Rumble, and now Sonic Movie 3. This movie, along with everything else we've had revealed for this year, is everything that I have wanted from the series ever since I was a kid. For the past 10 years, this series has been, hasn't even been taken seriously and it's just been goofy at the least. And not saying that that's a bad thing since this is a franchise targeted towards kids, but it always could have been more. And this is why I've been waiting for. Sega is finally taking Sonic seriously and pulling out all the stops to prove that he is more than just the fastest thing alive. This trailer is looking like everything I have wanted Sonic to be, and Sonic Frontiers was a stepping stone in terms of its narrative, storytelling, and gameplay. With Shadow Generations and Sonic Movie 3 coming out soon, it's all coming to fruition. The unique gameplay, the serious tone, I think you get it at this point, I don't need to be repeating myself. Sonic is in his biggest comeback season ever. Like literally, this is the biggest, com biggest comeback season I've ever seen for a game series, alright? And that's, it. that's not even being biased, that's just truth, that's just truth right there. And it's bringing in new and returning fans from the series than ever before. And it's, so it's a great time to be a Sonic fan and I couldn't be more proud to be one. But before I end this video, there is one more thing I would like to point out about this trailer that someone helped, with, helped me with on Twitter. It's City Escape, guys. Is that not a match with the truck?
Is that not the truck? There are a lot of the things that I could have brought up in this video, but we'll have to save those for when we get the next trailer or whenever we get some new information dropped about this, this movie. But for now, I'm going to leave it here as I've got a lot of games to play very soon and a lot of projects to work on starting immediately after this video is published. What are your thoughts about Sonic Movie 3? Do you have any last minute predictions or theories about Sonic Movie 3 that weren't mentioned yet? Just let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to make this a huge discussion in the, ch in the comments below. I'll try to be responding to as many comments as I can. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for checking out this channel and subscribing in the past past week. You guys, the support has been insane. It's been overwhelming, and I couldn't be more grateful and blessed to have, like, you guys supporting this channel. Like, this is just insane to me. So thank you guys so much. And again, if you're new around here and you want to see even more Sonic and Nintendo content, as well as me streaming a bunch of other games that I'm going to be streaming soon, make sure you guys subscribe down below with notifications so you don't miss out on a single video or stream I'm doing. You know, that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how to get my life back straightened in order because I got a lot of stuff to do right after this video. So until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.